One of the most common questions I've gotten recently is, will ever be stored drive traffic for me like Etsy does? And the short answer is yes and no. With Etsy, you're relying on their algorithm and their built-in search engine. With Everbe Store, you're in control. And if you understand how modern SEO works, you can drive better traffic, not just more of it. But here's the thing, SEO is not what it used to be. So if you're still thinking about rankings and keywords like it's 2015, you might already be behind. That's why in this video, I'm walking you guys through a modern SEO strategy built specifically for my Everbe store owners. But if you don't have an Everbe store, you are still very much so welcome to watch because this will help you in the future. You'll learn how to get discovered in AI search results, how to use keyword research the right way, and how to optimize every page in your store for maximum visibility without needing to be an expert. And if you guys want the full step-by-step -step breakdown, you can start your own Everbe store today for just $1. The link's in the description. Let's start with the biggest shift happening in SEO right now first and why the old rules don't apply anymore. Today, your biggest opportunity isn't just ranking on page one of search. It's showing up in answer boxes, AI overviews, and zero click search results. Let me break that down for you. There are two ways you can do this. Number one is AEO or answer engine optimization. This is all about giving short, clear answers to questions people are already asking. Think something like how to bake a cake with three ingredients. And then your product shows up before the blog post, before the Pinterest pins, and even the YouTube videos. The next up is GEO or generative engine optimization. This is all about writing content that's so relevant and so clear that AI tools like Google's SG or chat GPT style summaries pull your content directly into the search result. That's how you show up before people even click into your product page. And the best part is you do not need to be a tech wizard to make this work. You just need to know how to write your product titles, your descriptions and content with these systems in mind. So now that you understand where SEO is heading, let's back it up a little bit and talk about how search engines actually work. So you can start building your store with that in mind first. To make SEO work for you, you need to understand how search engines even think in the first place. Because if Google cannot understand your website, it ain't gonna rank it. Think of it like baking in the cake we talked about. This part is the pan. It holds everything else together. Search engines go through three core steps, crawling, indexing, and ranking. First, they crawl your site. That means bots are scanning every link, every image, and page to figure out what's actually there. Then they index it, like sorting books in a library. Recipes go in one section, tools in another, gift guides in another. Other. Finally, they rank it based on what someone searches for and how well your content matches that search. So if someone types in three ingredient cake recipe and your Everbe store has a page clearly labeled with that title, URL, and content, you're more likely to show up. But if your site is messy, unorganized, or confusing, you're going to be invisible. This is why how you structure your site, your product categories, your page titles, and even your internal links matter just as much as what you sell. Bottom line, SEO does not just reward the best products. It rewards the most understandable product pages. Now that you know how search engines organize the content, let's talk about the fuel that makes all of this work keywords. Because without the right keywords, even the best content will not get found. Most sellers assume that Everbe research is enough, but if you want to rank on Google and drive real traffic to your Everbe store, you need a smarter two-part strategy. So start with a tool built for web search like Google Keyword Planner. Your goal is to find long tail, user-friendly keywords that real people are typing into Google already. Think phrases like three ingredient cake mix cookies or easy birthday cake recipe or how to bake cookies with minimal ingredients. These terms offer buyer intent, good volume, and also low competition. Once you've found these keywords, you can then validate them inside Everbe Keyword Research. Even though that tool is built for Etsy, it still gives you insight into how shoppers use language on those marketplaces and helps you refine phrasing, so it still does resonate if you ever list these on Etsy too. Remember, keywords are only as powerful as what you do with them, so use them in your product titles, your meta descriptions, and your page copy. Make them the central focus of your product pages. So you're aligned with both human intent and AI search systems like AEO and GEO. So now that you've got the right keywords, not just Etsy keywords, but real search terms people are typing into Google, the next step is where most sellers drop the ball, how you actually use those keywords on your product pages. Because
because research is truly just the beginning. What really drives traffic is how you structure your pages for SEO. So let's walk through exactly how to optimize one of your product pages from top to bottom using everything we've already talked about so far. Start with your product title. Make sure it includes your keyword naturally not stuffed. For example, three ingredient cake mix cookies, quick, easy dessert recipe. Next is your URL slug. This should match your product title as closely as possible. If your keyword is three ingredient cake mix cookies, that should also be in your URL, not something vague like backslash product one, two, three. Then move to your meta description. This is what actually shows up in Google search results. So it needs to be clear, catchy, and under 155 characters. Include the keyword, highlight the benefit, and invite the click. Something like quick and easy three ingredient cookies, ready in under 20 minutes, get the recipe now. In your product description, repeat your keyword naturally and provide helpful keyword rich content. Think about what your customers want to know, how it works, what's included, when to use it. Answer those questions while keeping your language aligned with what they were originally searching for. Don't forget to use tags and collections to reinforce your keyword theme as well. For example, if this is part of a holiday recipe collection for Q4, make sure it's grouped accordingly. And if you're using the Everbee Brain tool, this is the perfect time to bring it in. You can use Brain to generate meta descriptions, highlight product benefits, and even write upsell copy, all while keeping your keyword front and center. This is how you turn a basic listing into a fully optimized SEO ready product page, one that Google understands, AI tools can summarize, and buyers actually want to click. So now that your product pages are optimized, let's make sure they're fully connected because one of the biggest missed opportunities in SEO is what you link to inside and outside your site. So here's a pro tip that most beginners are missing. Every page on your store should have at least one internal and one external link. Let's start with internal first. These are links that connect your product pages to other parts of your store, like a blog post, your about page, or another related product. For example, if you're selling three ingredient cake mix cookies, you could link to your holiday recipes collection or a blog post about gift ideas. Why does this matter? Because internal linking helps Google understand the structure of your site. It shows that your pages are related and that makes your whole store easier to crawl, index, and rank like we talked about earlier. Now for external links. These are links that point to other websites and they help build credibility. You can link to your own Instagram reel of the product in use, a YouTube tutorial, or even your own Facebook group. These aren't just helpful for users, but they also signal to Google that your content is part of a broader trusted ecosystem. Ecosystem. And if you don't have those channels yet, start with just one. Even linking to a relevant Pinterest board or your Instagram profile gives you an external link that you control. Bottom line is links matter. They build trust, improve navigation, and give your SEO a serious boost. But now that your pages are fully connected and optimized, let's talk about the real superpower behind this whole strategy. How AI tools like Everbee's brain can save you hours while still helping you rank. By now you might be thinking, this all sounds great. Great, but it sounds like a lot of freaking work. And that's where AI is going to come in and save the day. Everbee's brain tool makes it easy to write better, faster, and more optimized content without needing to be a copywriter yourself or an SEO expert. I sure am not myself. Let's say you've already done your keyword research and picked three ingredient cake mix cookies as your focus. You can go in and ask Brain to help you write a product title, a meta description, or even a sales blurb, all based around that keyword. You can also use Brain to update old listings. Maybe you listed a product a year ago on Etsy and it's still getting some traffic and you don't want to start this from scratch on store. Ask Brain to rewrite it with updated keywords or new customer pain points in mind. And if you want to boost your average order value, Brain can also help you write persuasive upsell copy. If you want it to sound more seasonal, it can help you create holiday versions of your current product descriptions. The point is you guys do not have to do this alone. We are in an incredible time of our world right now where AI helps you stay relevant, optimize faster, and scale smarter than ever before. The key is still strategy, but with the right tools, you can execute that strategy in half or even a quarter of the time. Now let's bring everything together from keywords to copy to structure and wrap up with a few final tips that will keep your SEO working for you long term. Here's the truth, guys. SEO is not about doing everything perfectly. It's about doing a few things strategically and then doing them consistently. So let's recap. First, you guys want to understand how SEO works in 2025. It's not just about ranking anymore. It's about showing up in AI search results and answer boxes. 
Second up, you want to do real keyword research using tools like Google's Keyword Planner, then validate and refine with Everbee to find language that works across multiple platforms. Then I want you to optimize every product page like it's your homepage, clear titles, aligned URLs, rich descriptions, internal links, and external proof points. Then I want you to use AI tools like Everbee's Brain and even ChatGPT to help you write faster, smarter, and with more persuasion so you can spend less time guessing and more time selling. And finally, guys, remember this. Traffic isn't something you have to wait for. It's something you can build. And with your own Everbee store, you're not relying on Etsy's algorithm anymore. You're building a business, your home base that you actually control. So if you want the full step-by-step -step breakdown on how to build and launch your Everbee store, check out my next video here. It's a complete tutorial tutorial that shows you exactly how to set up your pages, connect your products, and start selling, even if you are a print-on-demand seller with Printify. Just click over to that video now and I'll walk you guys right through it.